Today you will learn how to add hyperlink in Adobe Photoshop. After watching this tutorial, you will be able to add link to some text, an image or any other object in Adobe Photoshop. There is also a bonus in the end of this video, so watch the complete video to fully understand this skill. Open your file in Photoshop and decide where to add a hyperlink. It is best to add a hyperlink over a text or image button such as this button or a social media icon. So I have some objects that I would like to link to their relevant websites. To find the slice tool, right click the crop tool on the toolbar to open the other available tools. The slice tool has a knife icon. <clears throat> to save time, you can also use the keyboard shortcut C to select the slice tool. Choose a slice style in the options bar. In the default normal mode, you can click and drag on your document image area to create slices. When I release the mouse click, that will be one slice. Use the slice tool just as you would use the selection tool. Draw a bounding box around each part of the image to which you want to add the hyperlink. For the fixed aspect ratio style, enter numeric proportions to create a height to width ratio. Note that these values do not represent actual dimension. To enter specific slice measurement, choose fixed size style. If you have added guide rules to your image, click on the slices from guides checkbox in the options bar so Photoshop automatically creates slices following your guides. Double click or right click on your newly inserted slice to which you want to assign the URL and select edit slice options. In this slice options dialog box that appears, type or paste your link into the URL data entry field. Now specify the new page loading location in the target entry field. If you want the link to of the page you are loading to open in a new browser window, type underscore blank into the target text field. To replace the current page content with the new page, enter underscore self. I am going to type underscore blank so that it opens in a new browser window. Add descriptive text in the alt tab field. Alt text is important to include to make your design more accessible. It appears in place of the image while the image is downloading or not available. Now select OK. To save your image file with the links, select File menu, go to Export and Save for Web. In the dialog box, leave everything as default except preset. Choose any of the JPG or PNG options and select Save. In the dialog box, select your save location, type in your file name, then select the format drop down and select HTML and images. Select save and you are done. Now you can go to the location where you saved this HTML file. You can see there is an image folder that contains all my images and one HTML file. Now open this HTML file. So if I click on this button, you can see it will redirect me to the link I enter in Photoshop. So you can see it is working perfectly. I hope this video has helped you to learn how to add hyperlink in Adobe Photoshop. Don't forget to subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos like this. The bonus I mentioned earlier in this video is that you can download this file from the link given in the description of this video. So don't forget to check that and also give me a favor by subscribing to this channel. That's all for today. See you in the next video.